new and growing enterprises across the continent has never been more important. Access Bank's digital loans have so far provided over 260 billion Naira to upwards of 1.8 million customers and counting. Access. More than banking. Tonight, Russian forces insist they're taking back control from a group of what they call saboteurs infiltrating this leafy border. These images purporting to show a Russian soldier detaining three of them was broadcast on state media. Meet the anti-Kremlin Russians. Now taking the fight back home. This is how we work, he says, amid a bold armoured raid across the Ukrainian border into Russia itself. CNN can't independently verify any of the images, but this entire column of vehicles was spotted crossing the frontier. Ukrainian forces insist it's not them, but exiled Russian groups fighting against the Kremlin. We are Russians, just like you. We want our children to grow up in peace and be free so they can travel, study and be happy. But this is not possible in Putin's Russia. And the raid caught Russian border guards unawares. This one tried to be a hero, the narrator says, amid the scattered passports and a portrait of Vladimir Putin overlooking the carnage below. The border is now unlocked, says one of the fighters. Grandpa Putin will soon turn to honey, says the other. In other words, die. On Kremlin-controlled television, the presenters stood like statues as the day's events replay. <gasps> On videos from stunned locals witnessing the fight. The Kremlin called the attack a diversion, but already there's sharp criticism from Russian hardliners that this was allowed to occur. This Russian region right next to Ukraine is no stranger to cross-border attacks, but armed incursions like this are rare. And the mood here, according to local Russian officials, has shifted. With empty buses coming in to evacuate residents, while those who can are leaving by themselves. Well, Anderson, Russia has now declared a counter-terrorism operation in the region, saying that it has killed or captured dozens of those uh, people that came across the border from Ukraine to carry out this raid. But it is still unclear tonight whether Russian government forces have actually recaptured the territory uh, that was sort of taken and seized in this extraordinary raid. Yeah.